place that doesn't look like the rest of our country or even like the rest of our state. And pick and shovel just fits right into that because it's unique. I love Northeast Kingdom. I mean, it gets really cold, but it has beautiful summers and beautiful winters. I've always thought this is one of the best places in the world. My great-grandfather and great-great-grandfather started the Good Hamlet name in Newport City in the honorable, fair way of doing business. People thought my father was crazy when he said he was going to open up an ice cream stand in a hardware store. And they, oh, that's never going to work. It's big box stores don't run the nation. It's the small mom and pops that run the nation. People can come in here and get an old-fashioned uh, hardware store feeling. My father's real goal was to have this place passed on to another generation, just to see it running every day, just to see his efforts throughout the years and what he created carried on. And it's been passed down through the family, and I don't take that for granted at all. Uh, we, we never have felt comfortable calling ourselves a general store because I think it's an old-timey, wood, creaky floor type business. And we're not far from that, but we have too much to offer to be called a general store. People comment all the time, they come in the doors and it's like, man, we used to have a place like this in our town, but, um, you know, not anymore. And it's Sometimes they don't come in to buy stuff, they just want to walk around and just see how big the store is. It's got a lot of the old, the old school charm. There's still customer service, people talk to you, and um, they've got a little bit of everything. So how much will I owe you guys for doing this? Nothing. Really? Yeah. Hey, did you hear that? It's, it's <laughs> really what America's all about. Have you come in here fast? And here is the They have everything here. It's just, it's just where you come. Chicken. I think we have to have good ice cream. Yeah. Yep. I've been yeah. here in snowstorms and there's people. If they were open year-round, they would have business here. And it can be snowing and people come in their gloves yeah. and they buy ice cream. No, no, never too cold. I would say it's because we have really big serving sizes. <laughs> My whole childhood, they had this, what seemed like this monstrous iguana that lived in that big cage. Somebody did come in today and say we're coming to check out the Newport Zoo. The kids immediately run in there. We try to offer a neat mix of pets in there. You know, we have that two foot long shark. And they say, oh my God, you know, what is that thing? And Okay. <laughs> Lee's our, our front spokesman. He knows a lot of people. He loves to talk. What's going on, you two? What's going on with spending money? <laughs> yeah, I think some people, too, could find that as, you know, what are you doing? Let Lee talk about sports yeah. for 10 minutes. I don't even know if he's going to play this week uh, against Baltimore, so. But it's all part of the feel of this place, you know. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. thank you, my man. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> We could order one for you. Well, let me see. It'd, it'd probably be in tomorrow. Well, let me make a quick call. We had a little bit of this and a little bit of that. They'd come in to buy their hammers and their screws, and it was very convenient just to walk up over the stairs and get pants or get a pair of work boots. People come here, they think of it as a home away from home. It's like a family. Everyone just gets along really well. You know you'll be welcomed, and it's just a happy place to come every day. I love it up here. Everybody's like family. Um, their own bed to my wedding, which tells you one thing, so. <laughs> my name is George Rasco, and I've been here for 35 years. My dad values this job very much so. He um, knows his hardware. I got his cell phone. I'll call him at nine at nine at night and say, Craig, he's a pretty, pretty smart fella. You save you a bunch of money and it's one less joint, because usually you're gonna have your, your out and then you got four or five I inches. Do. That's what I got. I got another foot on depending the Depending on how big your overhang is. Perfect. That's what we'll do. You need the one piece, that's it? All right. Here we go. The customer's not an interruption of our work. He's our purpose. No matter what you're doing, you always got time for a customer. And that's what I really like about working here, because they feel the same way. High line 16? High line 16. Ten of them? Yeah. All right. So everyone gets help they want it or not. We're there. When you help somebody do what they needed to do to get on with their life, there's nothing better than that. 
can't wait during sugar season. But the sugar makers really know that if something happens, they come here and they get what they need. Pick and Shovel is open from 7 to 8 o'clock at night every day of the week. Or they call us on our cell phones and the service tech is always on call. Sales service, delivery, installation, troubleshooting, you name it. Booster can at the end, he asked us if we could come out and drill it, and the answer is definitely yes. Whether they have 200 taps or 200,000 taps, they're a sugar maker. Chris and Greg, they're out on the floor every day, every day. We're more of the generals on the ground, so to speak. You know, we're out pumping propane when we need to, and you know, cutting the glass and going to load up some bad goods for the customers. Use it for our day. Yeah. Bring it back, it doesn't work. We're not gonna oversell, we're not gonna to put the pressure on. When they say, oh, you know, that's too cheap or you're, you know, you're too generous and you want them to come back, and I, I just tell them I'll take their cash next time. The store goes on forever. It's an absolute treasure. I still get lost in that store. It's true, people do get lost in this store. They always say, wow, we could get lost. And usually I'm like, well, we have shirts for that, so. Oh, on your turn. I don't know. I'm not doing it. Sorry, get up there. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, You're such a wuss. Hinges, Carhartt. Nuts, bolts, screws, we got. Shovels, pesticides. Guinea pigs. Blenders. You guys all set? Yeah, mostly every tool. Toilets, leaf bags, slippers, grain. Um, you can't really name everything, there's just so much. You wusses! <laughs> <laughs> Stoves, refrigerators, washers, dryers. Five, ten, 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 ten. Anywhere from wood pellets to oil to regular uh, wood, we can order in any uh, thing. We have ferrets, guinea pigs, hamsters, a lot of fish, gerbils. Rabbits, uh, chinchillas, crested geckos, a lot of fish. We have 42 tanks, Christmas lights, snakes and spiders. There's beer and wine making, flannels, sweatshirts, underwear, pajamas. Oh my gosh, this is hard to do. Uh, tanks, evaporators, appliances. Hey, did you find it? We have fishing stuff. Doorknobs, necklaces, birds. You gotta go to the pick and shovel. Maple creamies, vanilla creamies. Buckets. Sugaring supplies. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Ranges. Hedgehogs. Lizards. Gas and electric. I think we can special order them. <laughs> On sports, we'll talk politics. And how we treat our customers sets us higher. Let me check the catalog. I'll be right back. Two by two, two by four, six, eight. Pressure treated. Plywood. Got a whole board. It'll be four filters, Steve. We, we don't have that. The, the whole unit, do we? 10, 12. People are great. Oh, good lord. No 14. Uh, the filter itself? No, no. The, the whole unit. They have everything. Cabinets. A lot of the stuff that other store don't carry. Patio furniture, camping, RV stuff. Ah. That's good. Huh, wait. I'm having a brain cramp. Not just the filter, but the whole yeah. unit. Yeah. Where? We got lots of stuff. Plumbing stuff. Lumber stuff, too. We got stuff for uh, grills and we got propane. We have uh, kerosene. We have off-road uh, diesel. Sometimes cats, dogs. The dog insists that we stop. She has yep. well trained. We'll put the flag up and we'll we'll be okay. Hi, how are you? I've got everything I need. So. Uh, it's my birthday. And my sister. <laughs> Microwaves. Gardening, boots. What else do we have? Scarves and plexiglass. Don't forget that. Because yeah, I miss that. Maytag, Whirlpool. Parakeets. Good stuff. So we're big into puzzles. We got more stuff than we know what to do with. Chainsaws. Geckos. Period. <laughs> Life is good. Hawkers <laughs> and dryers. Free popcorn. Laundromat. Furniture. Fire pits. Ski pants. Oh, good lord. Equestrian things. Rabbits. Homemade donuts. Cow manure. Get lost at the pick and shovel. Get lost at the pick and shovel. Vermont's wicked wonderful. Vermont's not good. <laughs> Vermont's wicked wonderful. Not so general store. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going home now. <laughs>